Okay, so question seven, we got a grid with the shape P on it, and we're asked to translate the shape P by the vector five, negative two. Okay, so translate essentially means move. So we're going to move this shape, and we're gonna to have to move it using this vector, which tells us how far and in which direction. And the way it does that is the way it's presented. The number on top tells us how far in the x direction, so we're going to go 5 units to the right. And the bottom number tells us the y direction, so we're going to go 2 units down. So we're going to pick this vertex here, and I'm going to move it 5 right, 2 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, and I'm going to plop it there. Now once I've got that one, I should be able to finish the shape, because the shape has just been moved. So everything else should move accordingly. It should go... on the grid in the exact same orientation, just in a different position. So carefully draw it on. You should be using a ruler and a pencil. And that's what we need to do to get our two marks there. OK, the next part, we're asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. Now, I always recommend to people, look at the number of marks here. Three marks for this part, so I'm going to want three pieces of information. Now, if you've got a good eye for this, you should recognize that um, we're going from A to B. So from A to B, we're going this way. So the shape has been turned, and the word we use for that is rotation. So I'm going to call it a rotation. So that tells me what's happening, but I also want to know, well, how far is it rotating? And again, if you've got a keen eye, it should be fairly obvious. It's rotated 180 degrees. So it's rotation of 180 degrees, because everything has essentially been flipped. Rotation of 180 degrees, but it's been rotated around a point. And I'm going to need to want to know what that point is. Now, you might get some tracing paper, like so. This may take it a little bit longer than I hoped. So, um, some tracing paper. We'll just make some. There we go. You put your tracing paper on. You will tr guess, if you can't be, be sure, but I'm going to guess here. I'm going to guess that the center is right there. And then what I would do is I would trace the shape. So I'm going to do this really quickly, quick trace. Trace that shape and then I put my pencil on the red dot here, the red dot here or we call it the blue dot. And then I would turn the paper and turn that paper around 180 degrees and if it lands here, I know we've got the correct spot. If it doesn't land there, you're going to want to readjust, pick a new spot and do the same thing again. So it's a rotation of 180 degrees about the point about the point zero one. Zero on the x-axis, but one on the y-axis. 